Hello everyone, nice to see you all again. Thank you all so much for dropping by today. And for those who are new here, my name is Janine or you can call me Nine. Well, and welcome to my vlog where I share with you my experiences and learnings as a first-time parent or a first-time mom living overseas. I will also be sharing, sharing with you other random topics that are home-related, so it's outside parenthood. In my previous video, I discussed about um, what items were included in my newborn shopping list and how I was able to organize it. So if you could spare some a uh, few minutes of your time, then please do watch that video. Um, for today's topic, I'm going to share with you what we prepared for... <laughs> what we packed, rather, in our hospital bag a month before my due date. So if you're ready... Then, come and join me. Just like in my previous video, um, I listed down all the items first, and then I divided them into categories. Categories. This time, there are four. So, I have clothing, I have miscellaneous, toiletries, and baby. So, under clothing, I have here night dress or duster um, preferably any other loose clothing that actually has buttons in the front so that it will be easy for you to actually unbutton them during feeding time and then i also have here robe slippers and discharge outfit so this is a discharge outfit that you'll be wearing once you get discharged from the hospital so basically i have here a nursing top paired with a bottom or pants or shorts, whatever you would like. And also, if you don't want, kung hindi ka comfortable like that, then just bring a nursing dress. So for myself, I brought all of them because by the time I, because I wouldn't know what I preferred by the time I deliver already. So for example, in my case, since I brought all of them, um, you know what? I don't feel like wearing a t-shirt right now. Can I just have a uh, can I just wear a dress going home? So, at least I already have it packed in my bag, right? And then I have a cardigan, undies or knickers, preferably dark. And if you would like, you can also buy disposable ones from the supermarket. I also have here nursing bra. Let's not forget about dad. Let's bring dad a shirt bottom or shorts or pants and this and this and these and slippers um of course you also have to take into consideration what the circumstances that we are in right now so um, each hospital has different protocols or precautionary measures about how the partner or the husband will be visiting you or be joining you during delivery. So check with your local hospital or the place where you're planning to give birth just so you would be given a heads up on what to prepare. Um, because I have um, some friends who gave birth recently and there's been, of course, an alteration of their arrangement um, in terms of how the, the father or the husband was able to come and join her during the delivery. So, it will be best that you would be, you wouldn't be surprised. Na, oh, he is not allowed to come here with me and join, etc., etc. So you know, at least there's a preparation mentally for you as well for all for both of you, de ba? <laughs> Under miscellaneous, I have here vitamins, paracetamol, or paracetamol. We call it paracetamol here. Eh? Snacks or bread or a snack bar. Water bottle. Bag for dirty laundry. Foldable bag because you'll never know when it will get in handy. Charger. Power bank. Handheld fan or pipe pie. Uh, umbrella. And either carry coat or car seat. So it actually depends on what you are planning to 
use when you bring home the baby. If you have a car, then it would be advisable that you bring your car seat instead of a carry cot because you're going to be setting up the car seat in your car. <laughs> in our case, um, we rode the bus going home from the hospital because it was not that far of a travel. So instead of a car seat, we brought, uh, we brought our baby by, uh, in a carry cot. Actually, na challenge pa kami gusto nga namin siya nang lumakad pero hindi. You know what? I gave my, I told myself I'm gonna give myself a break. I'm exhausted, so I'm going home, uh, riding a bus. Then, of course, the most important thing of all, maternity notes. Um, this maternity notes will be given to you by your midwife, um, from the beginning of your prenatal checks. Under toiletries, I have here alcohol or sanitizer, towel, toiletry bag, hair tie, hair brush, chopstick or lip balm, toilet paper or just one roll, maternity pads, breast pads, nipple cream, and deodorant and body wash. But I also included here some cosmetic products that would help you give yourself a decent look when visitors would if allowed would come and see you and your baby so just like the pressed powder concealer lip gloss and blush on so of course last but not the least baby i have here diapers or nappy bodysuit mittens hat booties blanket muslin and bag of cotton balls so guys, there you have it. Um, just a disclaimer. These are just the items that we included in our list. But if you would like to modify it according to your own, then please do so. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot to mention, I should have, which I should have mentioned from the very beginning, we used a luggage, a hand carry luggage to pack our things. Because why not? Because you see, it was more convenient for us to bring all those items to the hospital on wheels, right? And the best part of it was when we went home already, uh, when we went home, we just placed that hand carry luggage under the buggy. So basically, we were just pushing the buggy without having to worry where our luggage or our bags were. But of course, aside from that, Paulo also had to bring a backpack for other random stuff that that didn't fit well in the i know the luggage so yeah that's it um i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, till next time bye